Hey guys. That was whack. That was whack. I'm gonna try that again. Hey guys, what's up? Thanks for being on my channel right now. So this is my second Q&A that I'm gonna do for weight loss. And I was supposed to do this like weeks ago, but you know, that's life. Um, I'm gonna pull up some of the top questions that I get, if not on the daily, I get weekly. My starting weight, so when I first started my weight loss, I was, what I documented, I was 256 pounds. I'm pretty sure I was a little bit heavier than that. I'm pretty sure I was like 275, realistically. I was a size 22, squeezing a size 20. <laughs> I was like a 2X, 1XL in most of my shirts and blouses and things. Um, everything was plus size, so yeah, I just kind of skipped over the whole 12, 14, 16 and jumped right into 18, 20, and 22. And my current weight, honestly, I don't know how much I currently weigh. I know that I'm no longer 155. <laughs> Your girl been eating, y'all. Your girl's been eating, so yeah. But that's okay, cause winter time is when I do my best. I'm about to start another slim thick challenge on um, top of the year. If you guys want to join? The link will be in the description box. Join me. Let's get snatched together. Okay. <laughs> what did you do to tighten your skin? Or how did you avoid loose skin after such a drastic waist waist weight? Blah, I can't talk. How did you avoid loose skin after such a drastic weight loss? So I always tell people that I incorporated, okay, first of all, for starters, a lot of people with loose skin, either like they've had kids before, so you're, you know, you're already stretched out, your elasticity, um, yeah, you've already had kids, or all you're doing is cardio, and that's like the biggest no-no in my book, uh, personally, no. Yeah, a lot of people with loose skin, they only do cardio, realistically. And for me, I did cardio every day. But on top of that, I was lifting weights. I was going to spin class. I was body pump class. I was doing everything. So I wasn't just like relying on just cardio to lose weight. I was lifting weights as well. Sorry, guys. But I was lifting weights as well and strength training. So like I was doing things to tighten up my skin as I was losing the weight. So... To me, I never really had that issue of having such loose skin, so. Can't really answer that wholeheartedly because I've never really experienced this drastic loose skin I see on like Instagram and stuff. I never had that. I just kind of had like a little bit. The most loose skin I have is literally my arm. So I never really had crazy loose skin, like tons of fat. Um, Next question. What led you to make your lifestyle transformation and where are you at now? I always give this story. Um, it was my junior year of college and I was running late for like my final exam. So I had a power walk. I didn't run, I power walk. Power walk my way to class. And my class is on the second floor, I believe. And I remember walking, like power walking to class, I had to walk up like three flights of steps, get inside the building, walk up another two flights of steps. And guys, it looked like I literally ran through the rain. It looked like I was just like, jumped out of the pool, got splashed. I was so sweaty. It was just so disgusting. Like I had makeup on too, but I was just so sweaty. Like just sweat glistening and I was just so embarrassed so I went to the bathroom I just became an extra five minutes late because I went to the bathroom to like blotch my face and blotch my body because I was so sweaty everywhere I remember I couldn't even concentrate because I was just thinking how embarrassing that was for just me even though no one saw me like sweaty outside the door good thing thank you Jesus but it was still like such an embarrassing moment for myself because I'm like I'm 23 at the time 23 years old 22 years old like why am i like this like i'm too young to be huffing and puffing and can't breathe and it was just it was just crazy so that kind of led me to start going to the gym on top of that my school um yeah my college built a brand new nice gym and i mean the gym was laid out so i told myself i had no excuse why i would not go to this brand new gym like i've been on campus for three years and i never set foot in a gym i couldn't even tell you what the gym looked like because i never went to the gym but like i said they built this new gym and 
I was like, I'm gonna go to the gym every day. If not every day, at least four or five times a week. And when I started, it was summertime. So it was the end of the school year. I was working at Jimmy John's. Shout out to Jimmy John's. I was working at Jimmy John's. So I had three months before my senior year starts. Literally the crunch period is just getting started. Then the rest comes easy, you know, but just getting started, I was just like going to the gym every day. Actually, when I first started, I didn't go to the gym every day. I would walk outside like early mornings because I didn't want to see anybody to see me. So I would go walking like six, seven, sometimes five o'clock in the morning, like till I hit my 10,000 steps on my Fitbit. If you have a Fitbit, add me. I, my goal every day was 10,000 steps and I did whatever I possibly could to get my steps. So I did a lot of walking, a lot of walking every day. Even when I was in the gym, I just did the treadmill for about three miles. I changed my eating habits completely. Like I used to love going to cookout. I used to love going to Burger King. I didn't do any of that. The most I went to was Subway. And that's when they used to have flat teasers, but now they don't have those anymore at certain subways. Well, mine's didn't have it anymore. But at the time, that's what I, that's the only source of fast food I would get was flat teasers from Subway. Next question is, did you wear a latex waist trainer or advise to use one? So like I tell people, I have tried waist training. Have I been consistent with it? No. Um, would I recommend it for you guys? I'd say it's a personal preference. I see some people that wear them. They're like, they work for me, blah, 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 blah. But to be honest, I think in order to get a small waist, a lot of times it is genetics. Like, you have, like, my family, my mom's side, they're all pear-shaped. So, me being pear-shaped is nothing new. I grew up around it. That's what I know. So that wasn't anything, like, out of the ordinary to see. But, um, so many people want to go from, like, an apple body to, like, an hourglass. And props to you if you can. But, I, to me, I just think it's genetics. And it's just really how, genetically, how your body, sh you know what I'm trying to say. Like, you just can't put on a waist trainer and expect to have a snatch waist and you're just supposed to be looking like Kim Kardashian. That's just not how it works. Or you can go pay and get your body done. I would actually add in, if you eat right, like you said, you are what you eat. So don't be fast, fake, or cheap. That's what I always say. You already know what's under that category. Fast, fake, or cheap. That's the processed food, um, fast food, junk food, candy, soda. All that stuff is bad for you, and you know that they're bad for you, so just stay away from it. My current workout routine, how many days a week, and how long? Current workout routine, I currently do not have a workout routine right now. I do plan on starting one, actually tomorrow. I plan on starting one tomorrow, because I'm trying to get myself back into like my fitness grind, because I have a challenge coming up, top of the year and I need to be on my A game to have my challengers on their A game. So I'm going to start a routine. Once I start a routine, I'll probably start vlogging or posting some of my workouts that I'll do. But I plan on working out at least four days a week, at least sometimes five if I can, depends on my work schedule, but at least for four days a week for at least 60 to 90 minutes. What was the hardest part about making your transformation and how did you overcome it? So the hardest part for me was was not even the gym. The gym wasn't hard part for me. It was the eating. It was like going to the gym, feeling great, and then coming home and like eating a salad and some grilled chicken and a sweet potato. And then like seeing commercials for McDonald's and everywhere else. And I'm like, God, I would kill for a Sunday right now. It was really just like, changing my eating habits for the better. That was really the hardest part for me was just eating right. And the thing is once you're consistent with eating healthy and you go so long without eating those things, you don't, honestly, you don't miss it. Like I went months without eating Burger King, McDonald's, any fast food. So like I said, it's just a way, just processing your body to just eat healthy. Most of the time it's a mental thing. Half the time it's in your head. You don't really need that Sunday or that cookie. You just want it. You don't you don't need it. You're not dying for it. You just 
you just see it, it looks good, it smells good, you wanna eat it. But most of the time when I would do stuff like that, I'd be like, you know, treat yourself, eat it. I would eat it and I would feel sick or I would feel guilty and I don't know why, but I just would. So I just didn't even bother doing it. It's not It's not worth it. And it's, not, it's a waste of carbs. My current eating habits and the latest to eat dinner. Mainly while I was losing my first like 75 pounds, I ate dinner eight o'clock, nine o'clock at night because I had two jobs and I was a full-time student and I had clubs. So I was gone all day long. And the time I got home, it was like eight o'clock. You know, meal prepping plays a big part because if you don't want to come home and you don't want to make a whole meal for yourself, most likely you're gonna go out and buy something. That's quick and easy. But yeah, I learned to meal prep a little bit. Home, I would at least have my meal done. I could like heat it up or something. So that kind of kept me on track too. The latest eat dinner, I just say just eat when you're hungry. I don't, I never really restricted myself on when to eat. Um, but I have tried intermittent fasting where it's like you eat for eight hours and then for 16 hours you're fasting. That does work as well. You should look into that if you do wanna try that. If you want more restriction on yourself. So my camera died while I was doing my Q&A, but I guess that's a sign. If you guys have any more questions that you wanna know about my weight loss, feel free to check out my website. I answer a lot of questions about it. But yeah, those were my top questions. I'll answer more questions, but right now my battery's dying. And yeah, and I'll see you next time.